Welcome to News with XGN, your source for all things video games. I'm your host Xanthi S and every week we will be diving into the latest news in the video games industry. Today's video is kind of dedicated to game modes and let me explain. First story, Cyberpunk 2077 is getting a massive multiplayer mod that will let you join PvP, death matches, races and more with up to 20 players. So let's read what it's uh, how it is reported on Games Raider. Now you will eventually be able to experience Night City with friends. So an unofficial multiplayer mode for Cyberpunk 2077 may finally be on the horizon, <coughs> thanks to a massive mode which has been in development for a number of years by one sole developer, a very skilled developer. So as the same suggests, the Cyberpunk MP will allow you to experience Night City alongside other players for the first time. Uh, CD Projekt Red once had a whole standalone multiplayer experience in the works for Cyberpunk, but it eventually decided to reconsider even if multiplayer elements are are being contem contemplated for the sequel, which I'm very excited. However, uh, Modern Singer clearly never, clearly never gave up on the idea, with their latest video showcasing, showcasing a test of the mod that reveals some really promising gameplay. Let's take a look. This is uh, the mod in game, and you see, you can see other players. I mean, you can play with your friends. I guess this is a PvP, this is a deathmatch, or NPCs. No, you can. You can shoot. Is it friendly fire? Anyway, it looks cool. Very cool. Oh, even outside. Right. That's, this is amazing, right? Okay. Moving on to the next story. If you are a Star Wars fan and you're currently playing Starfield, then you can have a unique experience with this mod that will bring the iconic cantina in your gameplay. Okay, so according to VG247.com, there is finally a start field mod. I mean, I'm calling it, what is it? Video Games 24 7, whatever you call this website, okay? 247.com. Anyway, there is finally a start field mod that will let you hang out solo or with your crew in Star Wars iconic Mos Eisley Cantina. Now, um, while modders had to spend a lot of time waiting for the game's creation kit to drop, which it finally did last month, there have already been a ton of works put out to help folks turn the game into a Star Wars one. Something that was guaranteed to be a desire pretty much the moment it was announced. So, uh, as far as I can tell, Cafeina's most Aisles Cantina, it's also available for Xbox here, uh, says on the article, is the first proper go a modders had at recreating the place where Greedo definitely shoots at Han Solo first in the game. Now, let's take a look how it looks like. I mean, if this is inside the game, then it looks really cool. Now, we're entering. Let's see. Let's see. I mean, <laughs> it is very interesting. No, it's well made, I guess. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. We have friends here, familiar faces, kind of, yes. What else is here? Oh, well, it's a great addition nonetheless. Let me know, seriously, what do you think in the comments? Um, moving on to the next story. As a PS5, I'm a PlayStation user, okay? I love the store's summer sales. And if you were ever wondering of getting titles like Modern Warfare 3 and Elden Ring, well, this is a great time to purchase them because as Eurogamer reports, PlayStation Store summer sale is now live featuring over 4,500 discounts. Now let's take a quick look on the summer deals. Here you go to the website and you click on deals and you end up in this uh, page and if you scroll down you see the highlights we have modern warfare for 38 dollars 38.49 in a 40 percent discount elden ring with a 30 percent discount on 41 42 dollars hogwarts legacy 60 percent discount red dead redemption 67 percent discount and then you scroll a bit and we have final uh, destiny to the final shape and take an eight and then we click on view all get ready to get dizzy because we have here it says 4770 items i mean just go ahead and browse everything there are some very good deals here so enjoy and uh, let's move on to the next story. We have a, a horror story. Nintendo is known for its family-friendly titles. However, this has changed the past years with titles like Resident Evil, but also 
but with also true horror genre titles like Outlast, Bundle of Horror, which its title says it all, and another one called Amnesia The Dark Descent. It's another survival horror game, and of course we can forget Alien Isolation, which offers a very creepy and tense game experience. So it's not exactly out of character for Nintendo to tease with what seems to be a new upcoming horror title, but it does look terrifying. And what is this? Okay, let's go to Eurogamer. So Nintendo has posted an unusual and unexplained teaser video on its YouTube and social channels for what appears to be a fresh horror project. Let's look at it together. Okay, what's on YouTube? We have to watch it on YouTube. Okay. Oh. Okay, it is kind of creepy, but it's a short teaser, okay? The Japanese text at the end of the video translate to smiling man, while text accompanying, accompanying the video simply states who is Emio. Emio being the Japanese pronunciation of smiling man. This is extremely weird and out of character for Nintendo, wrote one person. A new Nintendo horror IP? Guessed another. And uh, others suggested this was bizarre viral marketing for Switch too. It is not according to Eurogamer, and, um, or that Amio was an unheard of third Mario brother. I mean, come on. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, it is creepy, okay? If you like horror games, then this might be a great one for you, and especially if you are a Switch console user. I am, I love it. I would not play this. That wraps up this week's edition of News with XGN. Thanks for joining me. I'm Xanthia as your host. And don't forget to check out our website, like and subscribe on our YouTube channel and follow us on social media. And also keep an eye for our live streams where me and Grimskull and Amy Cute, we are streaming, playing video games on kick, arguing and fighting with each other, but we are always having fun. So make sure to follow us on social media to not miss any upcoming shows. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.